Hey guys, and welcome to Resident Evil The Village, otherwise known as uh, Resident Evil 8. So, this is the big one. This is the one that we've been looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to follow the development of this game as closely as I wanted to because of uh, work and whatnot. Um, obviously, there has been a lot of discussion of this game in my Discord, but we've kept spoilers to a absolute bare minimum. We've been, um, you know, uh, theorizing. Uh, about Chris and uh, the overall story and of course we've had the demos as well which have come and gone um, because of the fact that I didn't have internet for four or five days uh, I was not able to actually try the demos until yesterday this game came out today uh, but I did manage to get on and play 20 minutes of uh, the demo there were two parts of the demo, and I only played the first one. There was the village part, and there was the castle part. I only managed to play the uh, village part, so I haven't been into the castle yet. But my god, was I impressed with what I saw. Man, I have a feeling this game is going to be special. Now, full disclosure, I have already played the first 20 minutes or so of this game, but... Although the game I'm running at max settings without ray tracing because I don't have an RTX card because like, you know, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, um, they don't actually exist. So I have a brand new, like, powerful computer that I built towards the beginning of last year, but it still has my old graphics card in it. So I was quite impressed with um, what it could do. However, like... Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake, this game, although it plays absolutely fine on my system, it doesn't record very well. The video is very choppy and very stuttery. And I noticed that halfway through what would have been the first episode, <coughs> which was really infuriating. It seems to be something to do with the RE engine. Um, I I don't know. I've given up with OBS. Um, I can record anything else absolutely flawlessly fine. But not these RE Engine games. So not really sure what's going on with that. Now, this is the Deluxe Edition of the game. My girlfriend brought it for me because since we've been together now, which is coming up to four years, she's been buying me every Resident Evil game. It's kind of a tradition. Um... <sighs> So, bonuses are actually quite interesting. Um, we've got movies, we've got the tragedy of Ethan Winters, and the Baker Incident Report, which is quite interesting. Now, I'm currently on holiday as well, so as well as the other videos going up, I want to, at least whilst I'm on holiday, have a video of this going up every day. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. But um, <laughs> that all depends on whether this actually comes out properly. Now, I just have played through the intro. And I'm really gutted. I really wish I could have had my genuine first opinion or first reaction, I should say, to what happens in the intro. Because it's like <laughs> oh shit moment. But unfortunately, yeah, the first, say, 15 minutes of the game... Um, didn't come out very well. Now, unfortunately, with um, Shadow Play, I have no viewing window. I have no, you know, I can't see on my second monitor what's actually being recorded. I can't pause it. I can't really use my stream deck. Well, actually, apparently you can now, which I'm going to have to look into. So this is going to be a rough and ready video, guys. Uh, I hope it's going to come out this time. I'm praying it is. Now, apparently we earn money, which I've seen in a demo. And there's items that we can buy from our merchant friend, who I haven't seen, but I have heard about. Now, because this is like the Deluxe Edition, I, I, there's some extra items that I think are free. And there's a special gun that comes with this version of the game. But as from what I can understand, you actually have to buy that. 
uh, it is the Samurai's Edge. So we'll we'll have a look at that. Um, but for my first run, I don't want to do anything that's going to cheese it. Anyway, we're going to go new game. Uh, also, because it's the the I don't know deluxe edition or whatever. Uh, we unlock the hardest difficulty right off the bat, which I think is a bit of a scam. I don't know why that is locked behind a paywall. Obviously, once you've been through the game once, you unlock it anyway. But I, I don't understand that. I know it. I know the reasoning is that you're supposed to go through the game once, get acclimatized to the way the game plays, and then you're ready for the harder mode. But for those that want to jump straight into the hard mode, I don't know why that's behind a paywall. I, I don't know, Chief. Anyway, we're going to go for standard difficulty. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem that all is well with this relationship. Let's just say that. Uh, so here we are. We have Rose, our daughter. Now, I guess we're supposed to feel some kind of love and care for this. But, um, 
you know, if it was a kitten uh, or a puppy, I would kind of be like, ooh, okay, my precious. But as a baby, and I don't really care much for babies, but sure. Um, right, these guys seem to have a little bit of trouble, uh, which is understandable. You know, uh, <laughs> bad things happened between these two, uh, you know, three years ago, which wasn't that long ago when you think about it in the grand scheme of things. And now, look at this beautiful house they have. Like, I'm guessing they got a humongous government payoff or something to afford a house like this. But uh, we're going to explore the house a little bit in a minute. Let's go put the baby back. Although, oh, hello. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Yeah. Um. Hey, keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Yeah, it'd be terrible if some mold men came in, wouldn't it? Huh? Huh? Oh, shut up, you. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Now, that book that um, Mia just read, Rose, I thought was amazing. I thought I was sitting down to watch some, like, uh, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas style an uh, animated film. It was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. And to be honest, like, Ethan, I don't know what you're whining about. That book had a very important message um, about uh, not taking more than you're given, not being greedy. Very good message for for a young child, I think. Oh shit, look at this place. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah. What have we got here? The curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Lu uh, Louisiana. That's how they're spinning it. In 2017, they concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud, uh, in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Oof, I've 10 years. About this already. Yeah, I, I don't know why you're surprised that everybody um, has forgotten about some weird obscure uh, incident that happened in some kind of redneck territory to like a handful of people. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. You know, it, it's not as if it was Raccoon City, for instance. It was just a small little footnote in a paper somewhere, I'm sure. Um, let's have a look what else we have here. This house is amazing. My God. Ooh, pills. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regime ever since the accident. Or the incident. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. You know, don't want to go crazy again. Nature's milk. Don't really want her to um, come at us with, say, an axe or a knife again. Or, heaven forbid, uh, Ethan here has a man cave uh, out the back funny. with a chainsaw in it or something. That would be terrible. Keep the chainsaws away from Mia. Look at this place. My God. It's huge. How many chairs do you need? It's like six chairs in every ginormous freaking room. All right, well, we can put the kid back, but Rose's clothes for tomorrow. Lovely. Yeah, that's a nice bed. It's a very nice bed. Let's keep exploring. Quiet, you. Quiet. Got some toys here to play with. Well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> My God, Ethan has some personality this time, kind of. Yeah, it's also interesting that. Ooh. Ah. It's uh, interesting that the, these Resident Evil games, at least this one and three, start off with these kind of like calm, walky around moments where you get to explore. Um, 
Jill's apartment in in the remake, for for instance. I like it. It's cool. It's a little bit of world building. We like that. Name Rosemary Winters. Date of birth: the second of the eighth, twenty twenty. Screenings: hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. Uh, all results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes: result for additional fungal pathogen test will be provided by the BSAA at Applefield <sighs> Memorial Hospital. Roses. Rose is fine, apparently. So, what have we got on the old computer here? This computer looks really beat up, by the way. February sixth. 2021 mia and i had another fight i accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me we finally settled down in our new life in europe and can bring rose up properly but i still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in louisiana i know mia doesn't like to talk about it but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live out our lives with rose without it hanging over our heads we owe her that much at least i know mia knows this too she wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care so sounds like mia is in severe denial and you know this isn't typical stuff for a relationship but you can't really have big things like this hanging over your heads in a relationship you you kind of need to talk this sort of stuff through uh, especially, you know, when we're talking moldy men and pathogens and, you know, Mia transporting dangerous biological weapons. Yeah, yeah, probably want to talk about that, to be honest. So we've got a little uh, <laughs> happy memories photo album here, which is just lovely. These are all very, like, high resolution. I wish it could stay like this forever. Ridiculously good. You do not want this to stay uh, like this forever, buddy. I mean, a baby? You keep your mother waiting. Time for bed. Really? Screaming, crying, shitting itself? I would want go, it to sorry. hurry up and grow up. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. It ain't the fairy tale monsters you want to be wary of, uh, Rose. Okay, it's the real monsters. Okay. And you're going to find scarier demons and people in real life than you'll ever read about in a storybook. Okay. Apparently, a lot of them on, are, are apparently on YouTube. Is that a low blow? Probably. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it seems like every other day now someone's being exposed for doing heinous things on YouTube. It's uh, it's getting it's getting kind of ridiculous at this point. Okay, so what else we got down here? We can fondle with a hell of a lot of things, to be honest. What's through here? Oh, that just leads us straight out into the kitchen. Lovely. So, anything in here we missed? There's a lot to look at in here. Look how... This game is stunning as well. It really is. Ooh. She's asleep. Well, yes. Rose's diapers, you started to outgrow them. Oof. Are you not using reusable diapers, are you? I know that's very green of you, but... Oof. Took forever to pick these wipes. Why is that? No, they didn't look like... I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know if they're reusable or not. I have no idea. I don't know much about babies. Every time um, I get offered to look after a baby, I like, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Mom got you another new book. What should I say? More like when ooh, dinner's ready. When I'm offered to hold a baby, it's just like, uh, no. 
No, no, I'm I'm quite all right, thank you. Got a load of CDs, jazz albums you were never able to get whilst you were young. Okay, I'm not really a jazz man, but fine. That looks good. I don't know what that is. Mashed potatoes, looks like we've got rice there. Is that chicken, maybe? And a hell of a lot of bread and salsa. Okay. Hey, look, there's more bread and salsa there. And another big plate. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're nice. going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Oof. Mia, get down! Mia! Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. <laughs> no! What? Why? The fuck? What the fuck is all that about? I want to know. Chris, what did you do? That's one way to get a divorce. Go on, move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Ooh. Rose. So Chris is being kind of a dick. I mean, I guess it's for the best, you know. I don't think their relationship was going to go anywhere good from the way they were snapping at each other. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just won't. Mia. What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Hmm. My little angel. And this is the point I got to when I realized that the video was just ass. Jesus.
What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? What indeed? Yeah, so I got to this point and it was stuttering heavily. Uh, what indeed happened here? And that didn't look like a secure channel to me. That looked like someone's, uh, you know, 5G phone. So that's not very secure at all. I'm going to put a cut in the video here, guys, because I need to make sure that this is coming out okay. Um, I got some theories, like I'm reckoning that Chris is obviously working for either Umbrella or the BSAA, and I'm guessing that there actually is something wrong with Rose. Now, Mia was an interesting character. She's a liar because she hid her entire job and all that shit from Ethan that she was involved with bioterrorism and all that stuff. Uh, and now she's trying to take the high ground and forget about everything. E Ethan, I think Chris did you a solid there, buddy. Um, yeah. Now, Rose is obviously going to be infected in some way, I reckon. Um, but to what end, I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, oh, we will carry on in a second. As long as everything's okay. Okay, guys. Right, we're back. Uh, apparently, everything's working just fine, which is good. Right. So, what have we got here? We've got a, f a useless phone. What else? Mission objective. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers... Okay. There's a lot of paperwork here. From the looks of things, it's pretty bloody cold. So let's get moving. So somebody has hit our transport. Okay. Well, I think this night's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Let's keep going. Oh, we don't have feet. Really, Capcom? Bloody hell, it looks cold out here. Ay, caramba. Let's just keep going. I don't think we're alone out here. Might find some werewolves. Can't use our inventory yet. Ooh. Do not enter. Okay. Well, we're entering. Oof. Well... It's not quite as bad as when you got your hand cut off, Ethan. You remember that? I remember that. There's a wheelbarrow covered in blood. Some feathers. Curious. Very curious. Lots of blood. That's that's a big bird. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's lovely. Wonder if Ozzy's about here somewhere. Oh, uh, Ozzy bit the head off a bat, didn't he? Yeah. Ooh, hello. That would make one hell of an alarm. 
Although Ozzy didn't actually bite the head off a bat. Apparently that was a myth. Bloody hell, we can't see shit. Right, let's just keep going. Ooh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you show me the way to the village? I guess we're going the right direction. Well, there's garbage. And where there's garbage, there's humans. So... Ooh. Ah... Uh, I was going to say, are they bodies? The pigs. We've got pigs. Load of dead pigs. Ah, that's more like it. Jesus. Look at the fucking graphics. We might want to grab something. Plenty of weapons here. Nope, nothing in that. Made a big song and a dance about opening that, only to receive nothing. Well, we wouldn't want them wasting water now, would we? We've got potatoes. I think they're potatoes. We also have the world's most useless torch. Ooh. Pills. Got the same, uh, we had the same dropper and set of pills in our bathroom. Back home. Evening. Uh, oh, a loom. I've come for a cup of sugar. Could I trouble you? I will settle for a shotgun. Ah. Some sort of beer. Well, beer's always good. What the hell is that? Some real weird art around here. Dude, let's just be cool, yeah? Ooh. That banana seen better days. Let's just be cool, my friend. You forgot to water your plant. Garlic. Now, I like garlic. Maybe me and this guy could be friends. So, apparently, according to what we read, Ethan had military training? Uh, which is interesting. Well, that doesn't mean anything to us. Sorry, didn't mean to break your house. Ah, lovely. I like what you've done with the place. It's very homey. These aren't bags of your own waste, are they? I mean, he's into pickling. He's obviously a, a seasoned camper. Hell of a gas grill there. Oh. He's got a... Ooh. Say he's got a broken... 
saw there as well. Okay, let's get this over with. Oh, it's a rat. I bet it's going to be something behind us, isn't there? Nope. Oh! Maybe? Fucking neighbours, man. Always making a racket. Well, I guess we're going to go back. And bump into whatever the hell upset us in the first place. Getting Resident Evil vibes. Resident Evil 7 vibes. Dude. Thanks. Real mature of you. Ugh, God damn it. I'm covered in strawberry jam now. God, what a mess. What did all this? We've obviously missed the party. Um Maybe we would have been to that one. Well, something's just opened the way for us. Hey, it's not dark anymore. How long were we in there for? Jesus, must have been in there for months. Well, at least a few hours. Okay, let's just keep going. Now, the only trouble is recording with uh, Shadowplay as well. I have no idea how long we've been recording for, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Where oh the my hell am I? God, look at What the hell, man? Oh my good god. That looks so cool. Right, let's get going. Let's go introduce ourselves to the locals. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going back that way, are we? Plenty of firewood around here. Oh, there is some civilization. Plastic bins. Ah. That horse doesn't look so good. We have garlic just blowing in the, the breeze there. Okay. This game is really well optimized. Just looking at my CPU there and it's on like 22% usage. We've got some grain. Oh, there's a small animal carrier there. Nice, nice. Needles. Probably for veterinary uses. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. What's through this door then? Maybe maybe they're out? Yeah, maybe. Easy to lock uh easy to pick lock. Ah, oh, looks like we've got some nice stew on the go. Well, something happened in here. Bloody hell. Yeah, something took a swipe at them. So we've got that dirty thing. Uh, we've got that symbol on the floor again. Oof. My God. God, this game is fucking gorgeous. Jesus. 
No, really nothing to pick up though. Doesn't look like it. Alright. I guess we are going this way then. Might be a slightly longer first video, but I won't tell if you don't. Oh man, look at this. Well, I'll tell you what, Capcom, you know how to make a pretty ass game. I don't think anybody can deny that. Well, the shit is out of use. That's going to suck if we're caught here for a while. Which I'm going to assume we are going to be here for a, a considerable amount of time. Plenty of birds. Do not enter. I guess that's the way to the village. But we don't really want to go that way first, do we? What's down here? Oh man. It really feels like there's a lot of places to explore. Oh. What's this doing here? Yeah, that looks like Mia's toy. Um, Rose's toy. Nothing. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's just shut the doors again. Okay. That symbol again. Don't know what the fuck that is. Another shitter. Yeah, that was locked. I say there's no grandma in there or something taking a greasy shit. Right, let's see. Where the hell is everybody? Everybody's gone to the rapture. I'm guessing we're kind of going the right way. Right, that's back to where we started. Got some potatoes, got some more beer, flour, all the good stuff. Hmm. Right, I'm probably going to have to break this one off here, guys. So the tractor's still running. What happened? I don't know, dude, but there's a goat head there. Still dripping with blood, so it's recent. Yeah, I want to go all the way back here. <laughs> I want to check that do not enter gate. Because I've got a horrible feeling we're actually going the right way. But, I will do that in the next video. In the next video, well, we're not that far away, are we? Here it is, in fact. I'm guessing we can't open this. God, there's so much to see, so much to explore. There's so much here. Right, okay, so that was the right way to go then. Alright then. So, I'm going to have to cut this off here, guys, because otherwise we're going to be uh, about four hours deep in our first video. So, when we come back, we're going to continue exploring, hopefully get a gun, shoot some uh, werewolves in the face. But, till then, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.